Okay, guys, this is from my TV station WOTV8 with TV8, Grand Ave Grandpa's. Well, AMS, AMS, let's just go silent. This is from Channel 8. This came out 13, this came out ooh, about an hour ago as this recording. And they're saying AM. An AM button on your next vehicle may go missing. Ford and other automakers have announced that they will no longer put AM we can't do that. in cars. But fans of AM. AM and station owners I own are AM. going quietly. News Ace Joe Lafergie has this. can't do that. Mostly sunny skies out there today. It's local. They are high near 70. Wood. It's live. We will all right around 40 <gasps> degrees. And a bit of a throwback to the old days of AM radio. I still yeah. just do it. The station programmers knew their community. Hopefully some of the information that you need, maybe some things you didn't I'll need stay to, to if you text them to us. Well, maybe a throwback. Technology has made the conversation a two-way street. You got a text request there? Brian, out there doing, well... The work that we need more of, plant some corn out Portland Way. <laughs> but Ionia's W-I-O-N 1430 AM stereos J&J &J Midday Show probably won't raise listeners' blood pressure. Politics seldom enters into the conversation. When it gets right down to it, they want local. You know, they, they, they're not denied what's happening in the world during the day. Local radio still hasn't changed. News. But they're also not denied having company during the daytime that we try to give. Jim Carlisle is owner and half of the midday duo at WION. You are having entirely too much fun. Well, yeah. <laughs> we're in here during bad storms. We are in here for delays. We are in here talking about the Memorial Day parade or. AM. I love AM frequency. We get texts from people that are just out of high school. We get emails from people that are senior citizens and everybody in between. But there is concern from Carlisle and others in the AM radio industry that a large portion of their audience may not have access to their signal in the future. Ford, along with several foreign automakers, have decided they'll no longer include the AM radio band in their entertainment clusters. You can't do Some that! It has to do with the future. Interference from EV motors on AM signals is part of what's driving the decision. And automakers also claim that AM receivers are obsolete because those same AM stations can be streamed. The argument nope. that there is no. streaming of stations... I still use AM. Why did you know? doesn't work because there's an awful lot of places that don't have good cell signal. And radio supporters say they've gotten some attention from members of Congress, but they say public pressure on automakers is key to winning this battle. AM Stereo 1430, W-I-O-N. And posts like this... I have a station near me, is AM. ...part of that push. They're wanting to just take the choice away. And I, you know, we think that's wrong. I think that's wrong. Brian Winnikin splits his radio work between WION and his home station, WRDN, in Durand, Wisconsin. He thinks removing AM radios is another way for automakers to increase income from subscription services. They don't get that with a free alternative in that vehicle. That's the AM1590. So uh, about uh, cold water, or else the fat cat. I go fishing. That will wrap it up for the show today. I'm Jim. I'm Justin. Just like the end of every midday show, broadcasters hope the audience will come back. We'll see you tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. And the AM button will stay on the dash. Have a great rest of your day. Near Ionia, Joe Lafergi, News 8. They can't get AM frequencies it's against the law. With SAP Concur Solutions, I save so much time managing. Wait, you can't finance. remove you can't remove the FM transmitter while the FCC is okay. I mean, right now, if I want you guys, I can legally right now get a license. I mean, I know for a fact if I want to, for example, if I want to right now, I can get me an AM. I mean, can you do it? Yeah, I could actually. Tell you guys, if I want you guys, I do have the equipment here at my house to make an AM radio station. I do. Actually, I have the equipment here in my house. Actually, I just need to get a few. I just need to get me an antenna. Wait, I just an antenna. I just have the equipment here at my house to make an AM radio station. I have the equipment right here to make it. I mean, it won't be strong, but I could broadcast the name if I wanted to. All I have to do is get a license from the FCC. And the LNG is me a broadcasting license, and I can do it. I mean, I actually have half the. I actually have all the equipment I need here to make a, make an AM station. FM? No. Uh, as of as of uh, 2021. You can oh well, FM, no. As of 2021, all the frequencies and that frequency that I could do it in has been terminated. But I can still contact. I can still do stuff in AM. Yeah, I can do. I can maybe run an AM frequency. What frequency? I'm not sure. All I need is a converter, and I can do it. I can do it right now. How to make your? I can be like. I can be like the how. Look, I get Google how to make a t. How to make. How to make a radio, R-A, a radio, 
how to make a radio st how to make a radio st how to make a radio station see <laughs> right here you need you see what do I need here to do that you see oh well how convenient it tells you right here how to do it okay all I need okay yep I have everything here I need I just need one part I don't have I need a box I need the I need the uh, the transmitter I need the Tronson box I need a Tronson box but I need to find a frequency I can go on to that I won't get yelled at. You can make homemade. You mean you can make a homemade radio that you know makes static. That's it. I mean you can make a. I mean come on with the proper. I actually have heard somewhere if you get the proper equipment to do a CB radio, all you have to do is a couple things to it and you can make your own radio station. But oh, five hours ago. Confusion continues to reign in Otter Creek, but some questions are being answered tonight. Otter Creek officials postpone everything from tonight's town commission meeting to next month after they were set to swear in new members. TV Trans Zavali Salachi tells us why residents are demanding new leadership even after an election was held just last month. Dozens of residents filled the Otter Creek town hall, which was unexpected for a week. Effectively closed for which was unexpectedly closed residents there's jeremy look there's jeremy hales guys look there's jeremy guys there's jeremy with his phone in his hand he recorded it last night so yippee i'm definitely saving this and saying to my mama yeah, I'm not gonna say it, but yeah. Still There's the Jeremy with his his hand! Which was unexpectedly closed for a week. Last Tuesday, doors were locked and the scheduled town council meeting was canceled. The clerk is the one that runs, that uh, operates. You're still mayor, you asshole! You gotta be kidding me. You're still mayor, asshole? You shouldn't be mayor anymore. Town hall, and I didn't have no clerk to operate the town hall. I didn't have no. That's not. F was canceled. The clerk is the one that runs, that uh, operates the town hall, and I didn't have no clerk to operate the town hall. She quit. That's longtime clerk Mary DeGroot. Meeks also tells me they voted to adjourn the meeting because not all council members were present. New council members were to be sworn in tonight that the new council would appoint their new mayor, but for the second time, that didn't happen. Residents made clear they want new leadership to take over. My concerns are if there is corruption, I want it gone. So Mary quit. Mary DeGroot quit. Yippee, Mary DeGroot quit her job. Yippee. Mary got the... Mary quit. <laughs> Mary quit. Oh, what the hell, Mary? Good for you, Mary. You quit. Good job, Mary. You quit. It's good to hear, Jerry. Yeah, you quit. You quit pissing off everyone in town. Confusion continues to reign in Otter Creek, but some questions are being answered tonight. Otter Creek officials postponed everything from tonight's town commission meeting to next month after they were set to swear in new members. <gasps> TV so, yeah, Jeremy was there. Residents are 